Welcome to the Gospel of Luke this morning. We're in Luke chapter 21, today verses 20 through 24. Let's hear about these end time developments here Jesus is going to tell us about. But when you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, then know that its desolation is near. Then let those who are in Judea flee to the mountains, let those who are in the midst of her depart, and let not those who are in the country enter her. For these are the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. But woe to those who are pregnant and to those who are nursing babies in those days, for there will be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people. And they will fall by the edge of the sword and be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem will be trampled by Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. Now, this isn't a big, uh, full-blown, you know, 55-minute prophetic exposition here. These are three-minute devotionals, right? So, uh, but I want you to notice that there is a reckoning, there is a time that comes. Jesus is foretelling, and look at his audience. His audience is people who are living in Jerusalem. You know that in 70 AD, the uh, General Titus came with his Roman armies and surrounded Jerusalem, and eventually the temple was destroyed, and and there were people, all kinds of people were murdered, and there was mayhem and and a great devastation. So this is now uh, in the 30, 30 AD, 33, 30 in that space, and Jesus is uh, where Jesus is going to be crucified. So Jesus is foretelling what's coming, and in a generation or so, it's going to come. And so notice here some of these bits. Jerusalem will be surrounded by armies. Well, historically, that happened many times, so this wouldn't be anything new. Notice here there's a warning. Don't go to that place. Don't go to the place when it's when we're in that kind of a situation. Don't be caught in the city when you're in a time of, of reckoning and judgment. And that probably would go well today because, look, when you've got roaming mobs in uh, JIT, you know, just in time, the stores get, get the stuff shipped there, and you're living in some big city, and uh, they run out of food instantly, and, and what's going to happen? Well, you're going to have a lot of hungry, hungry, uh, gnarly, bad-smelling people coming around looking for trouble. And so, yeah, being in a city isn't a good place for these kinds of social disturbance. Uh, but no, this says, these are the days of vengeance, for all things which are written may be fulfilled. Woe to those who are pregnant, and so on. So there is a time of final, final tallying, final sorting out. There's kind of a final distribution of, of judgment. And yeah, there comes a time. And Jesus is telling them, you know, you think everything's just going to continue on and on and on. And this, there's nothing going on here. No, God's plan for time is linear. And it has a beginning. It has things that happen along the way. And it has a, it has a cutoff point. And so there's a time when Jesus is coming. I believe the Bible, you can look at the Bible. It teaches it plainly all over the place. Uh, Jesus is returning visibly, physically, audibly. It's going to be literal. It'll be personal. There's a literal second coming of Jesus. We're looking for that. We're looking for it not necessarily very far from now. So anyway, Jesus is foretelling some of this business to them as they look around and they look at the temple complex and say, hey, this, this looks like it's going to be here for a long time. Jesus says, no, 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 it is not. So remember, there are things that are permanent. There are things that are impermanent. Judgment is always going to come. It's just a matter of when. And let's make sure our hearts are ready all the time for the things that are coming on this world. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Lord, today we couldn't fall into a full-blown prophetic exposition, but we thank you for Jesus giving the warning, the big warning, the time of reckoning is coming. We live today in a, in a situation where so many people just think that things just go on, uh, on as they've always been. And yet, Lord, we know that there is a time of reckoning. Help our hearts to be right, right every day. May we be reconverted to you every morning. May we be very intentional about it every morning, starting the day, coming to the foot of the cross and saying, oh, please, please receive me. May Jesus be my personal Savior for this brand new day. Lord, I need to be converted all over it again. Send your Holy Spirit. May that be true for each of us. May we do that, and may you give us those gifts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, friends. There's a real second coming on the way, but in the meantime, let's make sure we're right all the time. God bless you today.